Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we've finally got some decent weather after a very wet winter. Uh, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to come outside and do a tasting video of my latest uh, creation. So this is the Nelson Salvin uh, Pale Ale. So I've just poured this up off the keg. So it's been in the keg for uh, 10 days now. So very happy with that colour. Just a nice light sort of... Uh, orange color and very happy that it's holding a, a nice sort of fluffy white cap on the top um, especially I, as seeing as I didn't use any wheat or anything um, so just quickly running through the um, the grain bill uh, so it's 92 and a half percent Gladfields American Owl Malt which is a malt they've specially uh, created to um, uh, help uh, create uh, American hop forward style beers so I thought it'd be perfect for this pale ale uh, five percent uh, very very light crystal I didn't want too much sweetness coming through uh, so yeah it's, it's equivalent I think of like a 20 owl uh, crystal light crystal and then uh, just a little bit of acid malt two and a half percent and then of course as the name suggests uh, hop with uh, Nelson Salvin so I added some at the end of the boil for my bitterness, 25 grams, then I added 50 grams for a hop stand, and then I used the other 25 grams as a dry hop. Uh, so that was for an uh, eight litre batch. Uh, came out at 5.3%. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, that's about it really. So uh, finally had enough time in the keg to uh, let it uh, carb up nicely so we'll we'll go in for a go in for a smell hope you guys are having some good weather so yeah straight off as I was pouring it up off the keg I was getting the um, some really nice hop aroma coming off the top um, getting um, sort of hints of citrus and a little bit of tropical fruit um, getting a little bit of the gooseberry you get from the um, Nelson Salvin, but it's not too too much or too dominant. And then I'm getting a nice sort of malt aroma too. It's like toasty. I was going to say bready, but not really bready. Yeah, nice toasty sort of uh, malt. A little touch of sweetness coming through so it smells really inviting so that's uh, that's a good sign so we'll, we'll dive in cheers guys oh, that follows on nicely from the aroma so nice and juicy the, the hops come through here really well nice and juicy flavor juicy tropical fruit um, citrus Let's see if we can pick up that gooseberry yeah just in the background there I don't know about you guys but I find my beers um, character of it changes so it's only 10 days in the keg I've found I especially like the super delic I did recently I found the hop uh, change it actually got better with a bit more time so I'm probably drinking this a little bit early um, so I'm hoping that gooseberry says you know that white grape sort of character from the Nelson will come through a bit more as a bit more time goes by but very happy with uh, how it's tasting now malts nice yeah bread is it bready more toasty than bread I guess toast is a, is a bread that's been toasted but um, yeah more of a toasty slight sweetness there um, 
but I'm glad I went with the very light crystal. So Gladfield do three different types of crystal. They do a light, a medium, and a dark. And the last thing I wanted was too much sweetness coming through. Just a little hint of sweetness, just to um, um, have something to play against the hop. So yeah, really happy with that light crystal. Didn't want to go too much. So yeah, the 5% I think is, you know, the really good level. Um, just add, helped add a little bit of colour as well. But yeah, just a, a really nice, easy drinker. It's been a while since I've used any um, crystal in my lighter beers. If you've been following me, you know that I do quite a few XPAs, and they're just, um, well, recently they've just been Pilsner and Wheat, so it's nice to have little bit of more malt character from that um, Gladfield's American Ale and, and you know also from the Light Crystal. It's a bit more of a malty backbone to it than the XPA has. XPA is very pretty clean malt wise and it's all about the hops but it's nice to have a, a bit of both in this beer. Um, bitterness is good nice little bit of upfront sort of mid-30 IBU um, bitterness uh, disappears really really nice and quick yeah just really uh, yeah happy happy with our, how it's um, come out I think in the past when I've done pale ales I've gone a little bit too heavy handed on the crystal so it's probably one would be one of my main takeaways from this beer is um, yeah, don't, don't go too heavy on the crystal, 5% is plenty, and sort of go, I'd say go for more of one of the lighter crystals. Um, yeah, I think even a medium crystal would have given it too much, um, too much sweetness, for my personal um, preference anyway. So that's, um, that's the Nelson Salvin uh, Pale Ale, nice and simple recipe. Uh, but yeah, good beer for this sort of weather, um, and I'm happy that it's yeah holding on to a bit of a ring of head and a little bit of glass lacing as well. So yeah, happy day. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you got any questions, sing out. I'll put a link to the um, recipe, or I'll put the recipe in the video description below. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your uh, your week, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Run out. Cheers.